Hello, I am Joanna Mitchell, principal of North Tongo High School, and it is my pleasure to welcome you, the class of 2025, to our high school orientation. I'm so excited to tell you all about what North Tajo has in store for you next year. Hola, padres de la secundaria de North Tajo del octavo grado. Mi nombre es Angélica Stone, soy la traductora de la escuela. Esta presentación va a presentar los cursos de la preparatoria North Tajo, los requisitos para graduarse de la prepa, los requisitos de admisión a la universidad y el horario típico para los estudiantes del grado 9. Toda esta información también está en la página de internet de la escuela en la sección de consejería. La presentación la van a poder leer en español, pero no va a estar hablada. Si después de verlo tienen preguntas, llámenme al 563-8840 y yo les voy a responder las preguntas. Si hay alguna pregunta que no tenga la respuesta, podemos hacer una cita juntos con la consejera. North Tahoe High School has a lot to be proud of. We are a California Distinguished School, a California Gold Ribbon School. We've been recognized as a US, from the U.S. News and World Report as in the top 10% of high schools in the nation. We've had a 99 to 100% graduation rate for the last six years. We have above average SAT and ACT scores. Uh, we've had an amazing accreditation visit and report from uh, the Western Association of Schools and Colleges. We're part of College Board's pre-AP program and we have an amazing wellness program to support our students. Each year we offer 16 AP course offerings in the course selection process. We then use student interest to determine which of those courses we will run each year. That's an amazing uh, offering, AP offering for a school of our size. We also have two complete career tech pathways through culinary and engineering. But really, North Powell High School is all about our community and our culture. We are a community of truly inspirational and connected people. And that what's, is what makes our Laker community, our teachers, our staff, our students, our parents, and our community members. We run a uh, modified block schedule. This means that Monday, Tuesday, Friday is a six period day while Wednesday and Thursday are block days. On block days, we have an intervention RTI period where students can get extra help from teachers, whether that's voluntary or mandatory. Um, it's also a time when clubs can meet or students can work in uh, some collaborative groups. Our pathways period is also on block days and that is a grade level college career counseling um, program where we provide um, college information and uh, socio-emotional learning as well as community service support. At North Tala High School, we grade on a four-point rubric, which should be um, similar to uh, or familiar to most of you. Um, we have a special program called the Independent Study Ski Academy. This is for students who seek to balance a high level training and competition with academics at a comprehensive high school. And this program allows students to have flexible scheduling to allow for their academics and um, their training. We also have a Link Crew program, which is a transition program to support students in transitioning to high school. This trains juniors and senior mentors to help um, freshmen and to meet and support them in their first year of high school. Our GRIT program is designed to increase the number of Latino and socioeconomically disadvantaged students who meet A for G requirements and are able to apply to the CSU and UC systems. Uh, this is a program um, of academic support for those students and involves some support classes for them. We have uh, a variety of clubs for students to get involved in at North Tahoe High School. And if there's not a club that, you're, that you or your student is already interested in, we support students in um, forming the club of their choice. There's uh, the opportunity for whatever pursuits you want, you want to um, involve yourself with. 
in uh, we have athletics in every season, as well as the Athletes Committed Program. That is a campaign about providing support to athletes, coaches, and parents um, in making um, healthy decisions and becoming the the strongest athlete and person that um, our students can be. And I will, that is a general introduction to North Tahoe High School. I'll turn it over to Lisa Dolberg to give you information about our courses. Thank you so much, Ms. Mitchell. This is Lisa Dolberg, the 8th and 9th grade school counselor at North Tahoe High School. Mr. Reem, Jeff Reem is a 10th through 12th grade counselor. He will be with your student after 9th grade until the end of high school. Before we get started on my presentation, I want to give you a quick video from Jeff Reem and Hilary Jimenez, our Wellness Center Liaison. Hi, ninth graders and ninth grade families. I'm Hilary Jimenez and I am the Wellness Center Liaison for North Tahoe High School. So the Wellness Center is a TTUSD program and it's a collaborative effort with the county and with other community partners. It was in response to a couple of youth suicides that happened a number of years ago. And the result is this beautiful Wellness Center space where students can access social emotional supports as well as groups and other programming. Um, so the Wellness Center is located upstairs at the high school right across from the library and students are welcome anytime with permission from their teachers to come in and either grab tea or snacks or come and use the space for a quiet place to study or to have a conversation with a friend or students can come and share with me about things that are happening in their life and get support um, and share about anything that's going on, troubling or happy. Um, the Wellness Center is under the umbrella of the counseling team here at North Tower High School, so I work closely with Lisa Dolberg and Jeff Ream on supporting our students, uh, but students can come here directly just to chat about whatever needs they may have. Um, the Wellness Center is open during hybrid, during distance learning, and during full-time learning. So any of those times, students are welcome to come into the Wellness Center unless we're on distance learning. And then virtually, I am meeting with students as well. So if you have any questions, concerns, or want to reach out for support, you can email me at hjimenez at ttusd.org, uh, or you can call me directly here at school. Um, I look forward to meeting all of you ninth graders. Have a wonderful day. Hi everyone, my name is Jeff Ream. I'm a school counselor also with Ms. Dolberg here at Nortel High School. I work with the 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. So while I will not be working with you in your first year at high school, I will be picking you up on my caseload starting in the fall of your 10th grade year. And I am looking forward to getting to know each of you, uh, both students and your families. Um, but I wanted to just make sure you put a name to the face as you may or may not get a few um, pieces of information from me in ninth grade year. Sometimes I send information out to all students uh, at once. But just in case you do get some information from me, I want to make sure you know who I am or if you see me around campus. Um, feel free to reach out, feel free to connect, but um, I look forward to getting to know you uh, in the future year and I'll be working with you throughout the rest of high school starting in your 10th grade year. So welcome to North High School and go Lakers! There are a couple of things that are different between middle school and high school. The first being that students earn credits in order to graduate. They also get grades instead of numbers. So instead of a one through four on their report card, they get an A through F. And this contributes to their grade point average or their GPA. We also have RTI, like Ms. Mitchell explained earlier. And we have finals. So just last week, all of our high schoolers were in their finals, which means some teachers have final projects, some teachers have final tests and this contributes to their final grade which comes at the end of the semester a semester is different than what we have at north tahoe middle school which is trimesters the semesters we have one and two and they are split up into quarters and grading periods students also have more freedom at the high school but that comes with more responsibility for example at the middle school the students are expected to be in certain areas at lunch, while at high school, they are able to be throughout the campus. We have our campus monitors monitoring them in their classrooms, in the hallways, and in the cafeteria. 
Also, students are allowed to have electives. Yes, some at middle school students are allowed to select one elective, but as students get older in their grades, in high school, they get to select more electives or more classes that they find interesting. There'll also be more homework and more organization. So just more expectations for students as they are getting older. But are not, thinking about college starts next year. What students do as a freshman, as a ninth grader in high school will affect their college admissions four years down the road. We're gonna talk about a few keys to success that students can start their high school career off on a really good foot. For example, studying. We expect all high school students to study at least one to two hours minimum per night of the week. Now studying isn't necessarily there's a test on the horizon and they need to study for that particular test. Studying is also homework or reading or IXL or extra practice problems, things like that. Checking in with their teachers. These things are very important in high school. Also get involved. The biggest indicator of a student's happiness at a school is their involvement in the campus. So like Ms. Mitchell talked about, we have so many sports and clubs and things that students can get involved in. So the more that they feel excited about, the more they are involved, the more likely they are to feel success. Another key to success is attendance. Show up every day. A major re reason why students don't do well in school is poor attendance. Unless you are truly sick, we want you to come to school on time every day. Tardies and absences add up to low grades, missing assignments. It also is hard to get close with the teacher and involved in the class if the student isn't participating in their class. Next, we'll talk about A through G requirements, which is different than graduation requirements. A through G requirements are basically a list of classes the UCs got together with the CSUs. UC like UCLA, UC Berkeley, and CSUs like Sonoma State, Chico State, Cal Poly, San Luis Obispo, and they, they created this list that you see right here. And this list is basically, if you take all these classes, if you check all these boxes, you are eligible to apply to our college. You're not necessarily eligible to get into the college. That's up to your students with the grades they get, their extracurriculars, their volunteer work. But if they follow this list, if they complete all of these classes, they're eligible to apply. Now, I'll just go through this briefly. Um, we have social studies and that's 20 credits. So A through G is different than graduation requirements because social studies is only 20 credits. Now, let me break down credits really quickly. Each semester of each class is five credits. So when a student completes two semesters, of one class, they get 10 credits. So if you look at 20 credits, that is two years of social studies. English is 40 credits. That's four, four years of English. English is the only class that is required to, to, to be taken all four years. Mathematics is 30 credits is required, while the fourth year is highly recommended and that's with integrated math three or higher. Then we have light lab science and we have one life and one physical. That's 20 credits or two years with that third year highly recommended. We have a foreign language, which at our school is Spanish. That's 20 credits, two years with that third year highly recommended. We have a visual performing art or VPA and that's one year. A college preparatory elective or a CPE is 10 credits. These are the minimum and so anything going above and beyond this requirement is highly recommended. And to keep into consideration, the CSU minimum GPA is a 2.0, and that's a C average. And the UCs is a 3.0 minimum. Now, just because a student gets that minimum GPA, that doesn't necessarily mean that they'll get into those colleges. It's harder to reach college, harder to get in colleges, are going to have a higher GPA standard. And that SAT or ACT test is currently up in the air on whether it will be required or not. And with staying on A through G, there needs to be all grades C and higher. No Ds and no Fs. Now, that this is the difference between A through G and graduation requirements. With graduation requirements, we have social studies at 30 credits or three years. 
English is still 40, math is 30 credits. Lab science is just 20. You get um, 10 credits in either a foreign language or a visual performing art. We also have the requirements of PE health and PE, 10 credits in a CTE, so that's culinary or engineering, and then 60 credits of an elective. So that's 220 minimum credits to graduate. Now, if we do some quick math, if you're taking six classes every year and each class is worth 10 credits, that's 60 credits a year. Multiply that by four, that's 240 credits that a student will earn by just taking six classes every day. Now we'll talk about the ninth grade classes that we offer and where they fit into that A through G list. So for example, A, history or social studies, there is no history in ninth grade. You'll pick that back up in 10th grade. For English, we have two offerings, pre-AP English 1 or pre-AP English 1 honors. So a student will select between pre-AP English 1 or honors. The majority of students will be in the honors course. They are the same course, just one is going to move a bit faster and have a bit higher expectations of the students. For C, we have math and we have three offerings. We have intro to integrated math, integrated math one or integrated math two. Now this will be placed, students will be placed in one of these math classes based on their current math class or their performance in their current math class. We are still working on the determining factors as the testing last year looked a lot different than the testing in previous years. If you have any questions about that, feel free to reach out. Um, we also have lab science. So all freshmen are enrolled in biology in their freshman year. Then we have E is world language. We have an expectation that students will take Spanish one or Spanish 3SS. Spanish 3SS is Spanish 3 for Spanish speakers, and that's for students who grow up in a native Spanish speaking home or are in the dual immersion or TWI program. We also have visual performing arts that we offer. Um, that's art, ceramics, photography, band, jazz ensemble. I know that Mr. Nordby has already come into the eighth grade band classes to try to get eighth graders into high school band. Um, and then we have our college preparatory elective, which is engineering, culinary. Um, and then we have our PE requirements. So all freshmen are enrolled in either PE health or independent study PE health. Independent study PE health is for students who are athletes or who do sports outside of school. So a student is required to take two school sports in the year to qualify for independent study PE health. I like to make sure that the incoming freshmen know that independent study PE health isn't for the faint of heart. It is a challenging course that sits on top of their other six courses. So they would be enrolled in seven classes their freshman year. There has been an expectation that a student will complete packets that are challenging and time consuming um, in order to get that health grade. So if a student is a little nervous about their freshman year academics, then independent study PE health is probably not for them because that is, is an additional class. This is what a typical freshman schedule looks like. There will be an English class, a math class, biology, a world language, an elective, and a PE health. If a student decides to take independent study PE health, that PE health will um, move into um, the seventh and there will be a room for a second elective. And that concludes my part of this presentation. Ms. Mitchell will take it from here to finish this out, but I just have a few more things to say. The first is that this can feel very overwhelming. Uh, right now, your student is uh, in January of their eighth grade year, and we're telling you to think all the way into the future of June of 2025. Don't worry, your counselors are here to support you. Your student will stay on track, on the tracks that they want, as long as they listen to us and follow our directions. You will get this presentation again. You can watch this presentation again. 
Mr. Ream will help you, your student in future years, making sure they're taking the classes and getting the grades that they need in order to complete their grades and their goals. Um, so don't worry about that. The second thing is next week on February 10th, I will be going into your student's social studies class with Ms. Goss to help them um, request their courses for their freshman year. So if you head to the North Tahoe High School Counseling website and click on the class of 2025 under um, course registrations, you can read all the information and look at all of our breakdowns of classes and talk with your student about which courses they would like to take. Um, there's also on that website a link to a 15 minute meeting with me um, you can select a longer one if you'd like, but there's a 15 minute meeting with me if you're feeling confused and have some questions about what this means. So head to North Tahoe High School website, click on programs, and school counseling is located right underneath there. The final thing is that if your student is interested in Independent Study Academy or Ski Academy, please contact Laura Delorier. I will put her email just right under me right now. Um, first, she is your first point of contact to talk about Ski Academy. Um, okay, so I'll hand it back over to Ms. Mitchell. Thank you all so much. Please feel free to reach out. Thank you, Lisa. We would like to invite all parents to remain active partners with us in your child's education as they enter high school. We need to be a team and work to support them through all the challenges and accomplishments that high school will, pre will present for them. Please talk with your students about their successes and challenges. Check their grades on ARIES to make sure they're keeping up with their work. Follow up with teachers or administration or counselors with any questions or concerns that you have. Please don't let things wait. Um, and let's keep the, the channels of communication open so that we are supporting students at all times. Please help us support positive attendance. It's extremely important for students to be in classes so that they can get the most out of the educational opportunities that teachers are designing for them. It's also a big part of our school accountability. So please remember that students are only allowed 10 excused absences for the year. And if they have an appointment, please bring a note from that an appointment so that we can clear that up. And if uh, your student needs multi-day absences, please request independent study. There are a lot of resources for you as a parent. We update our website uh, frequently. We send robocalls and emails as needed. Um, and we also put a lot of information and a lot of cultural updates on our Facebook page. Um, every Monday, the uh, student announcements or the weekly announcements are posted on our Facebook page. Um, counseling sends out newsletters um, and uh, teachers oftentimes send updates uh, about with the through the aries.net parent portal so again make sure that you are signed up um, for the aries parent portal we are extremely um, fortunate to have the community partnerships that we have we would not be able to, to offer the program the extensive program and extracurriculars that we have for students without all of these partnerships Especially Measure AA, um, thank, we thank the North Tahoe community for their support through Measure AA. This allows us to provide all of the advanced placement classes that we have, our career and tech classes, as well as electives like band and um, art. Uh, it allows us to have high level state of the art science activities in our science classes and technology um, for all of our students. It, high school is an exciting time for students and parents. It's known as a time of exploration for students, 
Um, they're finding, figuring out their identities, what their interests are, what their futures might hold for them, um, things that they want to pursue in the future. It's also a time of students uh, pushing boundaries and um, can be challenging for a lot of students. And so it's important, again, that we uh, keep the, the channels of communication open, that we're a team in supporting all of our students, um, and that we do everything that we can to make sure that high school is the fun and exciting experience that it should be for all students. There are a couple more upcoming events for uh, freshmen. There will be a spring tour for incoming uh, eighth graders. And this summer in August, there will be a freshman specific orientation with our link crew, as well as Laker Day to get more information. We hope that this was an informative night. Thank you, Lisa, for all of your information. Please follow up with either of us with any questions or concerns that you have, and good luck in completing your course requests. Thank you. Thanks, Ms. Mitchell, and thank you parents for watching this video. Again, please contact myself or Ms. Mitchell with any questions regarding this presentation. Good luck to your eighth graders with getting their course requests in, and hopefully we will see you soon.